Ukraine's 54th Mechanized Brigade continues to strongly attack Russian forces in Donetsk Oblast. They are still inflicting heavy losses on the Russian army. The video shows that the brigade attacked and destroyed Russian tanks in the Mirinka Axis, Donetsk Oblast. Fighting in the Donbas region continues, with extremely fierce developments. Russian forces, believed to be in control of much of Severodonetsk, and Ukrainian forces are believed to be retreating to the west. Russian officials say their forces are fighting to completely liberate Donbas, generally the eastern regions of Donetsk and Luhansk, where Russian-backed separatists hold territory important before the invasion. Taking the city is one of Russia's key goals, because it means they control almost the entire Luhansk region. Russia has made slow but significant advances in the east. The governor of Luhansk said last week that Russian forces controlled more than 90% of the area and forces are regrouping to try to capture the city of Slavyansk. The British Ministry of Defense, in an intelligence update today, said Russian forces have controlled most of Severodonetsk in eastern Ukraine. The main road into Severodonetsk may still be under Ukrainian control, but Russia continues to gain a stable local advantage, thanks to the concentration of artillery. However, this was not without costs, and Russian forces suffered many losses in the process. Severodonetsk, an industrial center, is the largest city still held by the Ukrainian military in the disputed Donbas region in eastern Ukraine, which includes the self-proclaimed republics of Luhansk and Donetsk. Severodonetsk and Lysychansk are the last major cities in the Luhansk region still controlled by Ukraine. It is likely that Russia will need at least a brief tactical pause in order to re-establish protest river crossings and subsequent attacks on Donetsk Oblast, where the Ukrainian armed forces have prepared positions defensive. Position, the ministry added. Doing so risks losing some of the momentum they've built in the last week. But the U.S. decision to send new longer-range weapons to Ukraine means that it will be easier for Ukraine to defend its position against future Russian artillery attacks. President Joe Biden said the missile systems were intended to strengthen Kyiv's negotiating position and provide a more viable diplomatic solution.